Welcome to my second channel. This is the fourth video in my failed experiment series. For my main channel, I've made several infinity mirrors. And I've also done some things with bottles. These have been among the most popular videos on my main channel. So naturally, I decided to try combining these two ideas and make an infinity mirror in a bottle. Unfortunately, things didn't work out quite as well as I had hoped they would. If you have any suggestions on how I may be able to improve the results, I would love some feedback. But now, let me explain what I have tried. Here I have a glass bottle that I partially spray painted the inside with a mirror effect paint. After that was dried, I inserted a string of fairy lights and turned them on. With the inside lights on, it doesn't look like a mirror at all. The partial layer of paint is giving the bottle a dirty look. I think this is just how the paint is meant to be though. I'm pretty sure that this paint wasn't meant to be used in any way as partially transparent. As part of my experimenting, I painted the outside of a bottle with a thin coat of the same paint. When I turn the fairy lights on with this one, you can tell that it is a thinner layer of paint, but it still has a dirty look. You can also see that the paint has runs in it. As it turns out, this mirror effect paint is much thinner than most paints. I think the reason for this is to help itself level out for a smooth finish. That's perfect for a flat mirror, but since this is a bottle, it is more difficult to keep it running on the curved surface. But if you look closely inside the bottle, you can see that there is a bit of a reflective effect. For the next part of this experiment, I spray painted the inside of another bottle with this paint. This time I used much less for a thinner coat. Turning the lights on, you can see that there isn't hardly any paint in the lower part of the bottle. Most of the mirror effect is in the neck of the bottle, which kind of defeats the purpose. For my main demonstration, this is why I used a Coca-Cola bottle, it has a shorter neck. But again, there is some reflective of the lights in the lower portions of this bottle. I'm pretty sure this is just from the normal characteristics of the glass itself. And if you look closely, the reflections appear a bit distorted. After thinking about this for a while, I realized that I already knew why this was. The glass inside of the bottle is curving away from the lights. My video on this channel about the new mirror for my play button goes into a bit of detail about this effect. I recommend checking out that video. I may still try some different coatings to see if I can get a partially transparent mirror inside of a bottle, but we'll see. I do still think this Coke bottle looks pretty cool with the mirror effect it has. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions to try. Also, I have a playlist for each of the full videos that I showed clips from. Thank you for watching.